I hope to make this a nice short video, and what I want to cover quickly this evening is why I'm using a 4K monitor instead of the two 1080p monitors I was using before. So check this out. If you look at my desk shot here from this picture that's on the front of my website, you'll see I've got two monitors here side by side, 1080p, and what you're seeing on your screen capture right now is effectively the same as one of these two monitors. What I have done with a 4K monitor is basically multiplied those two monitors by two for a total of four 1080p displays. So if you imagine two other monitors, one here and one here, and then remove all the bezels and have one big work surface that's the equivalent of four 1080p monitors, that is what having one 4K monitor is running at 100%. So the monitor that I have in front of me right now is an Acer 43 inch 4K display, again, running at 100%. Uh, zoom ratio. Now, it's important that you're running at that 100%, otherwise you're limiting that um, resolution by whatever the multiplier is on that. So there's a lot more to it than it's simply four times the amount of space. I mean, you could just do four monitors. I could just add two more above that. But part of the difference there is that you don't have the bezels. So if you want a screen to take up one fourth or 1080p, that works. If you want a horizontal display across the top or across the bottom, you can do that too. If you want a vertical up one side or the other, you can do that too. Or you can of course take up the whole screen like one gigantic Excel spreadsheet um, looking on there. So. Right now, again, what you're looking at is the equivalent of a 1080p. Now, what I'm about to show you is what that looks like in 4K. Of course, you're gonna be seeing it on whatever monitor you're looking at right now. So it might look very small. So I'll try and put that in perspective by holding up something that's common. So here we go with the 4K display here. All right, so now you can see this where my website is on that screen is exactly what you were seeing in the screen capture before. Now I have this three quadrants of space around that. So let's say, for example, we wanted to just show four windows. So I can do that. I'm gonna stick the Prasonis website down there, the Cakewalk website up there, and the Studio win website down there. And so now I have four windows that are 1080p a piece uh, sitting on my screen all at once. Now, like I was saying, you can just expand that. So let's say, for example, I want to take this Personas page and go full height with it. You notice I have the ability to see the whole page. If I instead wanted to show the uh, full width, I could of course do that as well. Now I have a little utility running on the system right now, so if I drag down to the bottom, you may not be able to see it, but there's a small icon right there in the middle that's gonna show that then at full width. And I could do the same thing to go to the side to full height, the other side to full height, etc. So those are a couple of the benefits there. And so now let's get to the point of what I really want to show you, which is, in this case, I've got Studio One open uh, with the last song that I completed, and here's that song. Now, you can see that across the top, I have all of my tracks, all right? And of course, I can scroll within that. Across the bottom here, I have all of the console channels, and I could can, could scroll across those, but there's not... I mean, there's a pretty good number of tracks on this, right? So I've got a lot of a lot of scrolling to do. But you can see, like, you know, for example, I can see my whole drum section right there at once. My drums up top, of course. 
if I were to uh, eliminate the mixer entirely, well, now I have all of my tracks laid out. I could go to um, looking at just the mixer instead of the tracks, right? So if I wanted to do um, wanted to do that, then I would have to learn my key combinations, all right? So here we'll go out and then I'm going to make this full. So now I have all of this space. And of course, with this being Studio One, I have the option of making those faders really tall. Um, I think this might be overkill if there's such a thing as that. But if you have a lot of plugins or whatever, that could be a really useful view. All right, let's stick that back down in the bottom there. And now you can imagine things like, you know, if I pull up my console one, this is my console one window, which I can, you know, st just stick in a, a piece of the window, or I can make it really big. So I have a great view of an individual channel taking up a whole lot of space. Now, again, it's important to have a scale to this because you're looking at it and it probably looks like a dinky little monitor if you're using a regular 1080p monitor to view it. So this is my uh, cell phone case here, and I'm going to hold that up to the screen so you can kind of get perspective on that. So here is my cell phone case held up to that screen. So you can see my faders are almost as tall as my cell phone case is. My drum tracks are almost as tall as that cell phone case. And again, my hand in comparison. Now in front here, I have my fader port and my console one, and they fit nicely right in front of the bottom of the monitor. So I don't have any issues seeing what I'm doing. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like I've got perspective on the actual channels that are there. So hopefully this gives you some food for thought on why you might want to look at, at a monitor like this. They're a little hard to find right now. I got this one uh, for $3.99 at Micro Center. You could find it on Amazon here and again. Um, I actually like it so much. I brought this one home from the office to attach here, and then I didn't want to take it back. So I got another one sitting in the box at the office because I got one that was actually in stock waiting to be installed on my desk there. I get a lot more work done both creatively and in uh, my IT field. So again, hopefully this has been a useful video for you, regardless of whatever you might be using it for. I didn't think I would really ever need a monitor like this until I used one. And now I just love it. Send me a like, put some comments, any of the above will work. Um, you know, if you subscribe to the channel, that would be helpful. If you think this video might be useful to someone else to see what this is about, please share it with them. Have a good night.